Former detective Roger Golubsky is the target of a federal grand jury. That's according to CNN. KCTV5 hasn't independently confirmed this because grand juries are supposed to be a secret. Our investigative team is following this developing story. Andrew Ricono joins us from the newsroom. Carolina, families are certainly glad to hear this news, but they expected it a long time ago. I just sat down with Nico Quinn, who says accountability is long overdue. Our community has been hurt. Our community has been torn apart from people that we're supposed to have trusted. And I don't think it's all about just Galuski. I think that everybody that played a part that was hired in him, I believe that he was just doing what he was told to do. I think it's bigger than him. And everybody that has something to do with it needs to be brought down. Justice needs to be served. Allegations against Golubsky first surfaced more than four years ago when Lamont McIntyre was freed from prison after 23 years. His case exposed terrible allegations of abuse and corruption. Most of it was aimed directly at retired detective Roger Golubsky. Golubsky worked for the Kansas City, Kansas Police Department for 33 years and eventually became a captain. His partner became the police chief. In the years that followed, KCTV5 has continued to report on accusations from families who question Golubsky's power and what really happened in their cases. We've interviewed people who claim to be innocent, and they are either backed up by the gunmen or eyewitnesses who now claim they were told to lie. Here's the executive director of the Midwest Innocence Project. I think we're disappointed in the timetable. Um, uh, you know, the... the Folks who have been calling for this have been calling for this for, for decades, right? Um, certainly the lawyers who come along, we are not the first people to say this. We are only amplifying the voices of those who've been impacted, who shouldn't even need us to amplify them in the first place. Uh, and so that's sort of, you know, looking at it, it shouldn't take this long. It shouldn't take the fact that there needs to be lawyers coming in. It should have happened um, decades ago and it could have prevented harm that we know has occurred anyway. The KCK Police Department says they are cooperating with the FBI and actually have been for years. We will keep you posted on what happens next. As the family say, investigations are one thing, charges are something else. Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News. Thank you, Angie.